This video guys, I'll show you how to install Kali Linux in your MacBook computer. So if you have a MacBook computer that is running the new chips or the Apple chips like M1, M2 or M3, there is a new method that you can install any operating system, but today I'll show you how to install Kali Linux. So before we was doing it using VirtualBox, but it seems like it's not working anymore. I can check if VirtualBox actually works now, but they stopped supporting the MacBooks with the new chip, only with Intel chip. I can check here on VM virtual box and if I go to uh, downloads uh, here I can see that is only Mac with Intel host and not and not MacBook with Apple chips but today I'll show you a new app that you can download and install is very very good uh, virtual machine app that can create different virtual machines it's called UTM so just search on Google UTM download and press enter and you'll see here on the first link just click here it's absolutely free you don't have to pay for anything you can install any operating system is very easy to use so just go ahead and click on this download here but you can also download from Apple Store but it's paid on Apple Store at here you can download for free click on download and as soon as you click it will start to download and after you have it downloaded just go ahead and open it right click open and it'll eject this disk and what you have to do is just to click and drag it inside the applications I have already did this so I'm not going to do it anymore but it is very very simple to install just drag it inside the application folder then after you have installed UTM just go ahead and download the Kali Linux so go to Google and search for Kali Linux download and then just click on get Kali and you have to go to installer images click on installer images scroll down and make sure to go to Apple Silicon Silicon and click here on this installer. This is a recommended one. You have like net installer 2 or weekly uh, untested new versions, but this is the recommended version. So just click here and it will start a download. I will cancel it because I have already downloaded. It's just ISO file 3.2 gigabytes. Then let's go ahead and install the uh, Kali Linux inside UTM. So just go ahead and open UTM, search, search for UTM, open it. And here you'll see this page. So just go ahead and click on create a new virtual machine, click on virtualize, then click on Linux or you can click also others, but I'll go for with others. And now you have to put the ISO file, ISO image. Just click on browse and you have to choose an ISO image that we just downloaded from the Kali Linux page. So here is mine. I'll choose it and I'll click open. Then I'll continue. And here you have to choose the RAM or memory that you want. Uh, four gigabytes is really good. And then just click the course. Four of them are really good. It works very smooth. Click on continue. Then here, 30 gigabytes is really good to, for the Kali. Then click continue again. Here you don't have to do anything. Click continue and put a name. You can name it Kali Linux or whatever you want. And then click on save. What you have to do next is to right click and go to edit settings. Here you have to click on this plus, a uh, small plus here. So just click on plus and click on serial. We have to add a serial or a terminal because we're, we're not able to make the new first setup uh, while installing the Kali Linux without a terminal. So then after clicking on a serial here, new serial, click on save and this will close and just click on this big play button. As soon as you click, it will start the virtual machine and also a small a terminal here. So here on terminal, you can move different, do different commands, like you can move with your arrow keys and you have to click on uh, install. As you can see in the, in the big window, it shows black, but here in the terminal, you can go ahead with the installation. So using your arrow keys and enter, just move and click on the setup, go to English, then United States, American English for the keyboard, then it will set up some things and then you can go ahead with the installer. Okay, for the host name, I'll choose Kali, I'll press enter. Domain name, I'll just write Kali again. And for the user, Kali and username, K. Okay. Then put a password, repeat the password, choose your time zone, click on guided partitioning, then click on guided use entire disk then choose this disk virtual machine virtual disk that you, we just created is 32 gigabytes now press enter and click on first option all files in one partition then finish partitioning and write the changes to the disk and press yes and now it will start the installation Kali Linux is installing in 
our operating system, our virtual machine here on UTM. And after finishing, it will show you a window to restart your computer, your virtual machine, actually, not computer. Okay, after the installation is, is finished and your virtual machine is restarted, you have to go to click on your virtual machine. And here below in the CD DVD, click on this drop down and click clear. So we'd have to clear the ISO file now because you have an operating system installed. And then what you have to do is just to click on this big play button and as soon as you click the operating system will start you can go ahead and click in the green icon to make it full screen and now we have full screen so now it will start the operating system and for the username put the username Kali that we choose and put the password that we choose while setting up click login and now as you can see here is Kali here is Kali Linux it works perfect really really smooth here on UTM, you can do a lot of uh, things here and you have all the app application. While setting up and installing uh, Kali Linux, it shows you if you want to install some applications that are mostly used. And I choose to install 10 most used apps and you can find everything here from web uh, app application analysis, there's some database, password attacks, wireless attacks, explanation tools, and a lot of things that you can use as a developer here on Kali. And also it works perfect with the desktop and with the terminal here okay as you can see it works perfect and this was a video for today how to install Kali Linux in in this operating system that is Mac with which is running and Apple chips and I can show you in my case here I'll show you here about this Mac this is a MacBook Air with M1 chip is 2020 version so it will also work same for the other versions with m2 or m3 of 2022 or 2023 versions so this was a video for today hopefully you like it please smash the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one